a Hall of Fame needs to be in a place where the sport is loved, has long history, and cares about the sport. And what better place than Canada started for boxing? It used to be bare knuckle boxing matches up and down the historic Erie Canal and goes right through the village of Canastota. So we had bare knuckle boxing matches. And then in the 1920s and 30s, we had popular boxers from Canastota that boxed up and down the East Coast. Then of course in the 1950s, Carmen Basilio from Canastota puts Canastota on the world boxing map as he becomes the welterweight champion of the world, beating Tony DeMarco. The village wanted to show its appreciation to the sport why not do it in a very unique way? So boxing has its home in Canasota, New York. To see the fans intermingle with the champions, the champions intermingle with the fans and signing autographs, taking pictures, telling stories. Boxing, uh, to me, is the most greatest sport there is, and the village of Canasota feels that way and honors and puts out the red carpet for the champions and the fans. From the Sugar Ray Leonard's to the Marvin Hagler's to uh, the Roberto Duran's, the George Foreman's, the list goes on. They've been to Canasota. It's an educational experience and an entertaining one for sure for all the fans who come daily to visit the museum.